well, I may have, may have overdone it on the butthole destroyer. I don't know if you guys can see the sign. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there's one right there. No matter which way I go here is a minimum maintenance road, but I need to go straight. I'm headed out to a campsite. Uh, I don't really know if there's actual campsites there. We'll see what happens when I get there, but uh, this is just pretty interesting that each way you look is a minimum maintenance road. I've never seen that uh, like that before, but we're headed into this field here basically. And you can see there's a semi up here because they are probably uh, working on this field right now. So we'll hope we don't run into a cob mine or something, but there you go. It's just dirt through a field. So around here, a minimum maintenance road is uh, something that, sorry about that thing rattling back there. We might need that tonight. Yep, yeah, there's a combine. He's probably like, who the hell is that? Uh, but yeah, minimum maintenance roads are roads that nobody lives on in this section of countryside. And so they are just dirt. And oftentimes the farmers will kind of maintain them themselves. But I'll see you guys when we get a little closer to the spot. Uh, and I gotta figure out how to carry that thing about it. Jig it around. Stay tuned, y'all. Found a cool spot. I've never been to this lake before. It, there's nobody else here, but it's kind of odd. Like there's really no signage. The only sign up there uh, says no parking off roadway or whatever. Uh, so this is probably fine considering how they have these, uh, the grass cut and stuff here. But the one fire pit is that one right there. And it's, there's, it's not even usable. Let me show you this. So there's the one fire pit and it's not even stuck into the ground. So it's like sitting a foot off the ground. That's not usable. And then there's a few other picnic tables and just grills. There's one there. There's one up there. There's a couple over there. Uh, and there's just a random picnic table sitting over there. And way off in the distance, you can see a little pond, uh, but it's pretty slimy over here. We might walk down there, but here we are set up. Why don't we go ahead and crack open a drink? I still haven't thrown all my other stickers on here yet. All right. So this evening we're gonna try something. It's pretty strong. I have heard of this before. Uh, but I've never had it, so I managed to find this stuff locally. There's ice all over the top of it. You guys can see that. It's called Delirium Tremens, and it says it's elected as the best beer in the world, brewed by Family Brewery, Family Brewery Hugi, Hugi, 9090 Mela, Belgium. So this is a Belgian ale and it's pretty strong, it's eight and a half percent. But I've heard of it, and I guess if you guys don't know, delirium tremens, I guess, is what you would get if you start shaking from alcohol withdrawal. So, uh, cheers, I guess. 
all. I'm going to break the lid. I had it bent the wrong way. There we go. Barely got that guy open. You can definitely tell it's strong, but it's not as bad as you would expect it to be for being an 8.5% beer. Why don't we take a wander on down by the lake, quarter this scummy little pond, and see what that looks like. <clears throat> to me, that looks like it was the base of a little like a silage bin or something for grain. Otherwise, I don't know why that would be here. This looks sloppy. It's definitely overgrown. Ooh, look at all those frogs. Well, there ain't gonna be any fish in this. I mean, it's only like maybe 20 feet across and it's probably less than a foot deep, but there are a bunch of frogs in there. And a birdhouse. Well, it would be a good spot to try to catch some frogs. But not today. We've got dinner tonight. I don't need to mess with any frogs right now. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a nice spot. There's just nothing here. I head back up to the truck. Enjoy my drink. I ended up cutting my trip for it. So I got like 15 miles down the trail and then started start thunderstorming on me and handling. All right, while we're in the truck, um, as you may be able to tell from the couple of clips that were just before this, uh, I had a visitor. So I had uh, somebody who's watched some of the videos, ended up driving through the, the spot randomly. And I sat there and we talked for like six hours. Uh, it's obviously gotten dark. We started a fire. And we BS'd, but he declined to be on video uh, or to be named. Uh, but he does some really, really cool stuff. And maybe we'll hook up with him at some point in the future. It was really cool to talk to him. Um, but I have not eaten supper yet. So we're going to go ahead and get some dinner cooked up in here. Uh, which should be pretty tasty. And uh, we'll hang out for a little while. Um, some of you eagle eye viewers may notice that... I was using a solo stove out there. So uh, if you didn't watch the last video uh, of the uh, building the workbench in my garage, uh, I mentioned in that video that it was my wife and I's 12 year anniversary and she wanted a solo stove. So I got her a solo stove, but here I am using it. So uh, it worked well here because the fire pit was not the greatest, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, uh, jet boil out i think yeah that should work we have everything we need and we are going to get some dinner going because i'm hungry uh it's like 11 o'clock it's probably 11 30 by now and we need to eat some food so let's get to this So tonight we're going to try uh, some Frito pie and I've actually never just made it this way. This stuff was sent in uh, to the P.O. box. So we've got ourselves a can of chili here and two bags of Fritos. Uh, this is made to be cooked in a microwave, but I'm going to do it in a pan on my jet boil. Uh, 
but they also sent in this jar of Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. So we're gonna put some of that on it, but I have some extra fixings to go with it. This is from the Kirkpatrick family. So we're gonna cook this up. Uh, let's just toss this under the bed. That'll do. And of course, now that I've set everything on my cooler, I need to grab stuff out of my cooler. All right, we've got sour cream, shredded cheese, some peppers that have probably seen better days. And then I picked up another jalapeno pepper today. So we've got a big old jalapeno to go on there. And uh, we're gonna chop a little bit of that up and throw that in there, but. I'm going to get this chili cooking on the jet boil here and then we'll chop some veggies up and throw it in there. so fast on a jet boil it's hard to even get your other ingredients in there if you start cooking it I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn that off for a second while we cut up this jalapeno suppose I just use this big old knife out here I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna put this whole jalapeno in there. And I didn't take the seeds out of it or anything. We're going super spicy tonight. Super duper spicy. Dermy a piece. All right, let's do it. Oh, no. probably a mistake. That's not as spicy as the ones I got from, from Greg. But that's still pretty, pretty spicy. We'll put the seeds in there just cause I ain't scared. And we'll get a little bit of red pepper.
probably should have cut those jalapenos up a little bit better. We got all the peppers in there. I think this is about done. Didn't think I had a hot pad in here that I could set this on, but I do. Go ahead and set this down. All right. Well, that's steaming pretty good. It looks fairly cooked out. Uh, I don't have another plate back here to like throw the Fritos on and then dump in there. So we're just gonna mix it up inside of it. We'll leave them whole. We'll leave them how they came. Sharp cheddar cheese. Get a good layer of cheese in there. And we've got some sour cream to throw on there. A dollop of daisy. But the biggest thing is gonna be this hot sauce. So yeah, it's Stevo's Butthole Destroyer. Oh, I thought this was hot sauce for your butthole, so this might even be worse. This is Stevo's Butthole Destroyer hot sauce, and it says right here, warning, this stuff is seriously effed up, if you can see that. Uh, I know that he does have, Stevo also has one called Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole, which is what I just, I thought this one was, but, uh, I think this one is actually worse. So if you guys aren't familiar with Steve-O, uh, he's a comedian. He was, uh, he is famous from the Jackass franchise and movies from MTV and, and now in the theaters, etc. Been in the theaters a few times, I guess. Uh, I feel like most of you probably know who he is, but we're going to slather this in his butthole destroyer hot sauce and hope that we don't die. Oh man, that smells really, really spicy. But here we go. Find out how this is. It smells really, really hot. It smells really, really hot. There's a big slather of it on my spoon right now, so we'll just go in on it. <coughs> That's hot. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really hot. That has got a kick to it. That has got a very, oh, I might be getting the hiccups. <gasps> yep. That's spicy. Oh, hiccups. I'm gonna feel that one tomorrow. Oh, oh man. Uh, gotta get a bite that's not covered in hot, hot sauce. Oh. Well, I may have, may have overdone it on the butthole destroyer. Ditch the hoodie. Kinda, I don't know if you can tell. 
how much I'm sweating. I still have just a big, big fat glob of it on there. He's not joking. He is not joking. Well, those little bits of sour cream that you get, they definitely help. I'm crying. I expected spicy, but not this spicy. And I'm not even halfway done. <sighs> you guys can tell how much I'm sweating over here. Oh. I don't know what out of this has touched my mouth. may have gotten a little bit cocky with the sauce uh, I want to say I ate probably 90% of that oh, with the full jalapeno in there with at least half of a yellow pepper and half of a red bell pepper in there uh, I underestimated the butthole destroyer. Oh. Oh. Wow. I've got to uh, get this cleaned up. I'm going to go throw this in the bushes and feel sorry for any little trash panda that decides to come eat some of that because he's going to have a bad day. But uh, I'm shaking a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. And then we'll get a movie going. Stay tuned, guys. Whew. All right. Well, I'm sure I'll need this hoodie again by the end of the night. I guess I didn't give you guys a forecast. Uh, but I think it's going to be in the lower 50s tonight. Let me take a look at that quick. Um, we've got a low of 53 degrees tonight. I haven't had my thermometer out, so it's probably not correct. No, I would doubt that. This says uh, it's 66 in here. That ain't right. But we'll leave that out see what it is in the morning. Uh, for now, I'm going to ignore that moth that I just killed. And I'm going to get myself a movie going. I downloaded a couple of new things off of Netflix. <sighs> That's going to be rough on my guts in the morning. Um, uh, I finally stopped sweating. Anyways, that was spicy, man. That was really, really spicy. But let's get ourselves a movie going here. All right, I'm going to watch a Netflix movie. Uh, I downloaded it today. It's in their top 10. It's called Inheritance. Let me see what this is about. So it's from 2020. A patriarch of a wealthy and powerful family suddenly passes away, leaving his wife and daughter with a shocking secret inheritance that threatens to unravel and destroy their lives. Da, da, da. Uh, it's got Simon Pegg in it, so it should be pretty... I don't know. I've always seen him in funny roles, but we're going to give this a watch and I'm going to lay down and uh, hang out. Ooh. What is that? Oh. And uh, I'm 
gonna relax. I'm trying to cool my guts down a little bit. seven o'clock and I expected it to be light out but it was still pretty dark so I didn't get up and I ended up falling back to sleep but nobody's driven through here this morning that I heard it's been really quiet so it's been really nice literally as I get up and say something about it there's somebody driving through all right, time for some coffee, I think. Oh, I definitely took the easy way out this morning, as far as coffee goes. Breakfast and champions. Oh, in that movie last night, uh, what was the name of it? Oh, I can't even remember it. Man, I literally can't remember the name of that movie. What was it? I don't know. I don't remember. But the movie itself was really good. Uh, and a couple cool twists and turns at the very end that I was not expecting. But overall, it was, it was a pretty good movie. It's kind of a wild, weird storyline. But it was a great movie, nonetheless. Oh, well, I need to go out here and clean my fire pit out. It was a solo stove that you guys didn't even get to really see last night uh, because it was dark. But, uh, time to get changed and get some of this junk ready. Come here. It's like half full. I gotta take care of this thing and get that emptied out back in its carrying bag because it does come with a bag. Uh, I don't know if I explained it last night, but I think I did. The wife wanted one, so we got one. It's usually how it goes, gentlemen. Oh, there we go. It's kind of big when you get it all packed up, but you can store firewood inside of it as you transport it. But it rattles around a lot and makes noise as you drive, so I drove here with it in the cab. It was not an enjoyable experience. Uh, we'll leave this back here. I just need to, I'm just gonna grab some of my junk. And I think we'll hit the road this morning.
we're on the road uh, headed to another spot but uh, I enjoyed last night a lot hanging out and talking to homie uh, for most of the evening uh, was a really good time and kind of a bummer he didn't want to be on video but I understand that not everybody is uh, uh, as open to social media etc but it was really cool to talk with him and uh, we exchanged contact info so there may, may be a point in the future where I hook up with him and we do some backpacking stuff because he does some pretty serious backpacking. But uh, dinner was great, and I'll be honest with you, uh, it's got my guts rumbling. So I need to find myself a gas station here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That hot sauce was rough way hotter than I expected, but it still tasted really good. So, anyways guys, I got a cool spot I'm gonna check out for the next one, so stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.